So the word of the Lord was growing mightily and prevailing. He who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God and he will be my son. I have roused him in righteousness, and I will make all his ways smooth. He will build my city and will let my exiles go free, without any payment or reward, says the Lord of hosts. To him who overcomes, to him I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone which no one knows but he who receives it. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I myself your shield am your very great reward. See, I am coming soon. My reward is with me to repay everyone according to his behavior. You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand upholds me, and your gentleness makes me great. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, We should by all means go up and take possession of it, for we will surely overcome it. The one who receives a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward, and the one who receives a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. Whatever you do, work at it wholeheartedly as though you were doing it for the Lord and not merely for people. You know that it is from the Lord that you will receive the inheritance as a reward. Everyone will see the salvation that God has provided. For that is what the Lord ordered us to do, I have made you a light to the Gentiles to be the means of salvation to the very ends of the earth. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. You are from God, little children and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. For our citizenship is in heaven, from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He who overcomes will thus be clothed in white garments, and I will not erase his name from the book of life. And since I'm going away to prepare a place for you, I'll come back again and welcome you into my presence, so that you may be where I am. Now is for you, be strong and never be discouraged, because there will be reward for your work. The one who plants and the one who waters have the same goal, and each will receive a reward for his own action. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory, which you gave me because you loved me before the creation of the world. And since I'm going away to prepare a place for you, I'll come back again and welcome you into my presence, so that you may be where I am. To him who overcomes, to him I will give some of the hidden manna and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone which no one knows but he who receives it. For if I preach voluntarily, I get a reward. See to it that you don't destroy what we have worked for, but that you receive your full reward. This is what the Lord says, Restrain your voice from crying, and your eyes from tears, for there is a reward for your work, declares the Lord they'll return from the enemy's land. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win. These things I have spoken to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. O oh, give us help against the adversary, for deliverance by man is in vain. 
through God we shall do valiantly. And it is he who will tread down our adversaries. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, We should by all means go up and take possession of it, for we will surely overcome it. And they overcame him because of the blood of the Lamb and because of the word of their testimony. God is to us a God of deliverances. And I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire, and those who had been victorious over the beast and his image and the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, holding harps of God. Look! The Lord God comes with strength, and his arm rules for him. Look! His reward is with him, and his payment accompanies him. Now without faith it is impossible to please God, for whoever comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who diligently search for him. 2. To him who overcomes, to him I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone, and a new name written on the stone which no one knows but he who receives it. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is the shield to those who walk in integrity and we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. But whenever you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees from the hidden place will reward you. I keep pursuing the goal to win the prize of God's heavenly call in the Messiah Jesus. Those who manifest wisdom will shine like the brightness of the expanse of heaven, and those who turn many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever and ever. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he will not go out from it any more, and I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly.